Okay. I'm going. Sure's going? Okay. Well, going? Yep. All right, stand back away. Turn the arm. Behind the barricade. Arm the deal. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, go. Hi, I'm Charlie Macklin, and this is my black powder engine. i um, going to describe it quickly and describe who I am quickly. I'm a mechanical engineer. I've got a bachelor's of science in mechanical engineering, and I feel that I'm fully qualified to um, perform this task. I think it'll be safe. Um, we've taken precautions uh, with regard to uh, uh, safety gear and distance. And uh, the key thing is that we're using very small amounts of, of uh, powder. Um, now, let me describe the engine a little bit. What you've got here is a, uh, an old engine design. It's basically a uh, two-way oscillating uh, steam engine. But instead of running it on steam, we're going to run it on the combustion products of black powder. And uh, there's no air intake like a regular engine, which was one of the main mistakes with the show. Uh, since black powder has its own oxygen source, it doesn't need the, uh, the air intake, and so a steam engine works well for this. Um, another key difference is black powder, as it's purchased at the store, is explosive because of the speed that it burns. The reason it burns so fast is because it's broken into thousands of tiny little pieces. What we've got is a slow-burning black powder that is a home blend from the... Camera problems. Uh, the powder we're using is a home blend uh, made from raw ingredients, therefore it burns much slower than your store-bought blends. It is compressed into one single grain in a casing, this right here, the 3 8 inside diameter, and by doing that, you've got one continuous grain, which is going to burn uh, much slower than many grains. It'll burn like a road flare. and the way it'll go is you have it in this uh, chamber here with an ignition to it. It lights once, fills the chamber with combustion products. Um, over the course of about 30 or 40 seconds, we expect it to run. And in this chamber, you have a filter to filter out some of the particulates that are going to clog the engine over time. And it's basically straightforward from there. This engine uh, will spin because of that. And uh, it's rock and roll. And what you see here is a slow burning black powder um, gently compressed into our casing. Going? Yep. All right, stand back away. Charlie, arm Behind on. the barricade. Arm the deal. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay, here's our setup. We had just did our successful run. There's the oscilloscope and a infrared uh, sensor to determine the RPM, which we figured was about 600 at the peak. And at the right side of the engine, you see the cardboard tube sticking out there. That's a, a safety mechanism that was built into the design where if the pressure builds up, the fuel log will push itself out a little bit. If the pressure gets too high, it'll push all the way out and uh, stop the combustion. And uh, you'll notice that during the test run, 
the um, pressure fluctuated because of um, gunk that got in the engine and built up a little back pressure and we could accommodate uh, you know we can repair that with probably a cleaner burning black powder and um, you know what have you better filters